Management. For the last class, the electric field d to the electric dipole, we calculate the two cases. One is the electric field d to an electric dipole at a point on the axial line. It's already discussed about the last class. Now we discussed electric field d to an electric dipole at a point on the equatorial line. Let us see the diagram. Let the minus q placed at the point of A and plus q placed at the point of B. So the minus q and plus q act as a electric dipole. The distance between A and B is 2A. Let the O is a origin. The distance between A, O is A and O, B is A. Now, let us consider point C. Now, we calculate the electric field at the point C, D2 minus Q and D2 plus Q. So, here the electric field having the resolving for two components, E plus and E minus. E plus D to the charge of plus Q, E minus E minus D to the minus Q. So the charge minus Q, the direction of electric field towards the minus Q. Here the direction of plus Q is outward. Because the positive charge the electric field outweighs the negative charge the electric field is towards the minus Q. Now we calculate the resultant electric field E total. See E plus and E minus are resolved into two components. One is one component parallel to the dipole axis. Another is perpendicular to the dipole axis. That is the separate diagram been drawn in the here see the point C E plus sin theta and E minus sin theta both are perpendicular component for horizontal component E plus cos theta and E minus cos theta are parallel components so resolving two components one is a parallel component another one is a perpendicular components here the value of E minus and E plus are same. What about the electric field formula E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. From this formula the E plus and E minus are same distance of R. So now we calculate the electric field is at a point C both values are same. Then only component are different. Now the parallel component of dipole axis and perpendicular to the dipole axis. The component perpendicular is equal value and in opposite direction so cancel to each other. Now add the total electric field only the resultant of the parallel components. So the perpendicular components E plus sin theta and E minus sin theta are oppositely directed and cancel to each other. The magnitude of the total at a point C is sum of the parallel components of E plus and E minus. So we want to calculate the resultant electric field at point C only the parallel components. Now the E total is equal to minus E plus cos theta P vector minus E minus cos theta P vector. Here the minus indicate the, the dipole moment is always acting on the opposite to the direction of dipole moment because that is an axis 
this is the direction of axis of the dipole but the resultant electric field we get in opposite to the direction of dipole moment that only we will put the minus symbol so the magnitude of e plus and e minus are in the same and is given by the value of e plus is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r square plus a square along the bc so d to the plus q along the bc and e minus along the ac e minus is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square plus a square along the az so the electric field at a point c d2 plus q d2 minus q are same now only you are calculate the resultant of the component so substituting the e plus and e minus value we get e tot from this equation e total e total is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square plus a square and cos theta p cap minus e minus value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square plus a square cos theta p cap here general formula how will you come the r square plus a square formula e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square so r square value that is here bc square value is r square plus a square so e minus is also 1 by 4 epsilon naught q by r square plus a square along the ac we substituting the value e total finally we get the common terms are taken into outside so e total is equal to minus will be taken from common we get 2 q minus taken will be common we get 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square should be common q cos theta p cap minus q cos theta plus q cos theta p cap so q cos theta plus q cos theta we get 2 q cos theta into p cap so finally e total is equal to minus 2 q cos theta by 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square now we want to calculate the cos theta value see here the right angle triangle with angle theta so want to cos theta what is the formula for cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse so cos theta is equal to a divided by bc so see here bc square is equal to ob square plus oc square so bc square is equal to ob square a square O C square R square so B C is equal to square root of A square plus R square that is a B C value plus Q to C so the cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse value R square plus A square whole power 1 by 2 R square root value so E total is equal to substituting the cos theta value we get minus 2 Q 4 pi epsilon naught R square plus A square and the cos theta value a by r square plus a square 1 by 2 p cap now same value minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 q a by r, r square plus a square power 1 here r square plus a square power 1 by 2 so combine this equation r square plus a square 3 by 2 1 1 by 2 is a 3 by 2 and p cap so uh, condition for the distance compare the a r is very large so r is greater greater than a so now the value of r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 nearly equal to r cube so the a square will be neglected so r square into 3 by 2 2 2 cancel we get r cube so substituting the value e total is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught what about the value of 2 q a dipole moment p so p by r cube so finally e total is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube here minus is represented only the electric field act opposite to the direction of dipole moment so far 
in our previous case for axial line the dipole moment acting the along the direction of dipole moment in the equatorial case the electric field the resultant electric field acting opposite to the direction of dipole moment now we move on the torque experienced by an electric dipole in a uniform electric field what torque that means the it's nothing but a moment of force when a dipole is placed in a magnetic field uniform electric field what about the acting of torque that only we discussed here so let us consider the uniform electric field e uniform electric field e that means what if the uniform electric field means all the point having same electric field if any point the electric field should be same so the field is said to be a uniform now the electric dipole minus q and plus q are kept inside the uniform electric field at a point of a and point of b the distance between the dipole to a so let us consider the origin o from o b a and o a is a so the distance between the minus q and plus q is 2 a so the electric field kept inside the dipole the dipole get rotated having some deflection of theta because there are two terms act some deflection here d the force experienced on the plus q f is equal to q e and the opposite side of that is a minus q so the force experienced minus q e because the formula of electric field e is equal to f by q that is force experienced by the unit charge now calculate from this equation f is equal to q e that is a force experienced on the dipole so for a plus charge q e and the negative charge minus q e see here the external force external field e is uniform the total force acting on the dipole is zero when the uniform field the net dipole is zero these two forces acting on the different points will constitute a couple so acting the different point at a point a and point p having the different point so in opposite charges so said to be a having some torque so the total torque on the dipole the formula of torque or moment of force is force into perpendicular distance one of the force into perpendicular distance here torque o a o a is a perpendicular distance and one of the force is minus q e so force into perpendicular distance in the other side of plus q o b is a perpendicular distance that is a force f is equal to q e using the right hand cork screw rule the torque is perpendicular to the plane of the paper so the perpendicular to the plane of the paper is this act that is a 2a sin theta so the net magnitude of total torque tau is equal to oa minus qe sin theta ob qe sin theta we put the value of torque force into perpendicular distance that is now we calculate the one side if any one charge so one of the force into perpendicular distance one of the force so one of the force let us consider the positive charge so one of the force qe and perpendicular distance is 2a sin theta perpendicular distance 2a sin theta so the tau is equal to q into 2a is a dipole moment p so pe sin theta so torque tau is equal to 
P sin theta that is a magnitude of torque in the uniform electric field. The torque in vector form tau vector is equal to P vector into E vector. Now we conclude the electric field above the torque for uniform electric field when the dip dipole kept in the perpendicular distance now only turn to deflection and get torque so theta is equal to 0 from the magnitude value sin theta sin 91 so tau is equal to pe so only we get torque that is a maximum value of torque if the dipole is along with the electric field along with the electric field that is a parallel to the electric field so theta is equal to 0 now torque is 0 neither a torque nor a force there is no torque and there is no any force that is in case of uniform electric field in case of non-uniform electric field how will you form the torque for the electric dipole kept in the direction of 90 degree we get tau is equal to p but we get additionally some force so torque and force we get when we get a force additionally when the dipole is kept in the non-uniform field now theta is equal to zero in case of non-uniform electric field tau is equal to zero but additionally we get only the force so here for uniform electric field when theta is equal to 90, only torque. Theta is equal to 0, neither a force nor a torque. When theta is for non-uniform electric field, theta is equal to 90 degree, torque plus additionally force. So, theta is equal to 0, we get only force. Thank you, friend.